All right, folks. I'm burning the clock pretty bad here, but I figure you deserve this video. I just got home. It's about 20 to 6 p.m. Cows and calves are going to be so pissed off at me, it's not even funny. But uh, boo hoo hoo. I'm going to take a few minutes out, time out here to do this little video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and label it something along the lines of uh, uh, the, the teasing's over. Uh, I just pulled in the driveway. Um, cheers. Just pulled into the driveway, running late today, but I'm happy, so I don't care. It's a good feeling. Um, okay, for a couple months or so, uh, just shy of a couple months, I've been uh, giving some teaser videos out there about an implement that needs to be put on this farm. Uh, needs to be, <clears throat> for uh, umpteen hundred reasons. That made a lot of sense. Um, I'll go through those reasons uh, uh, briefly and quickly though after I show you what we're looking at here and uh, kind of make this make sense but uh, yeah appreciate you guys coming along sorry about the teaser that you know it, my fun ends today you know it's not that I like messing with you guys I'm just you know having fun and uh, a lot of you were right on target some of you were way out in left field but I really like your uh, vote of confidence and thinking but uh, anyway, without further ado, further to do or ado, which one is it? I don't know. This bud's for you. Actually, it's for me. Uh, yeah. It's kind of funny. Some of you are probably going to be disappointed, but it's okay. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to the John Deere 7000 four row, 30 inch narrow corn planter. <coughs> Fit for a king. I'll explain that. Uh, as you can see, there is not the back insecticide boxes on it. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Folks, this has been a uh, this has been a frustrating journey up until about two weeks ago. Um, oh, excuse me. I mean, just look at for God's sakes, not only chains and sprockets and everything else, the condition is planter, even the electrical is in damn good shape obviously for the monitor so I started this journey uh, looking at used pieces because I have contrary to popular some possible belief I've got a price that I have to stay at or under <coughs> so when I first started this journey I was all about a six row six row it's got to be a six row it's got to be a six row why I don't know I just had it ingrained in my head to do so um, I'm here to tell you, uh, I've put on a lot of miles looking at different used pieces, uh, four rows and sixes, but sixes predominantly. And I'm here to tell you, uh, with my price range, I've stated before, you'd have to throw the kitchen sink at it. I'm not prepared to do that. I'm all about replacing wear parts and working on equipment. I enjoy the hell out of it, but I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna purchase something that needs the the absolute kitchen sink at it, thrown at it because it's it's beat to absolute Hades. I'm not doing it. So, uh, anyway, I found myself at the feed mill many moons ago. Uh, let's just say three four weeks ago. Uh, jibber jabbering about my search and the unluckiness that I've been having. And, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about that corn seed too that came with it. Uh, somebody popped up and said, Well, you need to talk to such and such. Okay, yeah, well, what's, what's the deal there? 
I know he's got a four roll planter in mint condition. He hasn't put corn in the ground for over three years. Ah, come on. Uh, and here it was, seven miles away, maybe eight. I promise you I've put on 2,000 miles plus in my search, but that's okay. That's, that's how this works. <coughs> and uh, so anyway, I, 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 I tracked down the, uh, the gentleman's number. I know of him, not on a personal level. Uh, he, he, uh, he knows dad. Uh, he said he knew me too, but you know, obviously not on a personal level. And I'm like, uh, you know, I, I know it's not for sale. It just came up in conversation at the mill that it's possible that you'd part with it. Um, you, you know, let, let me know what you think. Don't answer now. Ponder it. Let me know. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Okay. I never really thought about it and this, that, the other thing understand that this gentleman's done very well in life uh if he if he wanted to leave this sit in his damn garage he, he could by god do so till it just went into dust i don't know how else to put it um <clears throat> so anyway uh yeah that's that he got back a hold of me he's like well why don't you come on take a look at it and everything else and and i did and I'm telling you something right now, uh, compared to everything that I've looked at, this thing is fit for a prince. I mean, there's a call. I need to go through it. I can't talk tough right now. My education in corn planters is growing. I've been gaining it the last couple of months. A lot of YouTube videos. Uh, in fact, I need to give a big pat on the back to John Stevens. Uh, in my search of a little bit of education within YouTube, I love how this works. Um, John, you've put out some very good expl explaining videos, educated videos, and not only uh, know-how, but show-how. Uh, I look forward to uh, watching them again and taking actually taking down some notes. Um, but yeah, folks, I just got this home. Uh, it, it's in great shape. I, I do want to go through it. I'm very lucky to have a couple people that I'm able to call on to come on over and give me their two cents on replacements or adjustments, this, that, the other thing. I obviously need to go through the operator's owner's manual and, uh, you know, population settings, uh, fertilizer, uh, pounds to the acre settings, everything else. This is, this is brand new. <clears throat> I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I know all that's going on. I don't. But by God, we're gonna we're gonna get there. We are gonna get there. So if you've been a fan of the channel for any amount of time, you'll know that there's some areas I deal with having custom done. Uh, it just proves right to do so. As far as the dollar amount for some of these implements compared to some of the smaller acreage that I deal with. And I'm proud to say that. It proves to just have it custom done. You know, writing out that check is always a kind of a sad day. But I, I don't think I need to explain further. Well, here's the deal. We're up in the Anion Sweet Corn. That's the big thing that... Uh, prompted this not only that but of course you know gosh damn it i do want to plant my own corn i couldn't find i can't think of almost any greater honor uh as a farmer you know making your own damn hay i'm speaking the obvious here and putting your own corn in um but what prompted this was the obvious, uh, we're up in the Annie and Sweet Corn here this year uh, with multiple, 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 multiple roadside sales. I've locked in the areas that uh, we're able to, you know, be at and sell at and everything else. In fact, I've locked in my seed, um, which comes on a, a different video. <coughs> but uh, we're looking at probably about almost three acres, just shy of three acres of sweet corn, which is a hell of a lot of sweet corn. And uh, anyway, that prompted this. But then, of course, uh, you know, perfect world. I get to put my own uh, my own corn in as well. 
So, anyway. Uh, I got to doctor this up yet. The uh, the roll markers, of course, the, uh, the wheel discs, whatever you want to call them. I don't have the terminology here, folks. Uh, they're, they're in the fertilizer uh, uh, bins. Those need to be put on. They were taken off. Um, e even the tubes for the fertilizer, those need to be hooked back up. And the clamps are in there as well. Very well taken care of. Uh, a, a very neat fact of this planter is I know both owners. Uh, what's pretty neat and special is uh, the original first owner that bought this brand new is the large dairy somewhat down the road that I custom raise his heifers for. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I know his style, I know that farm style, I know his regiment. I know his maintenance practices and everything else. That's a key contributor of why this machine looks like it does uh, for the age that it is. And then, of course, the gentleman that I just bought it from, 